One of my favorite theories out there in terms of crime reduction, and, and, and by favorite, I mean one that I think is the most uh, likely to answer the question, because we have a situation uh, nationally, and it's also been a, an international phenomenon, on the drop, dramatic drop, over the past 20, 30 years, 20 some odd years, well, I guess closer to yeah, 20 some odd years, in crime in urban centers. And Kevin Drum, we had him on, oh gosh now, this must have been about two years ago. We will link to that at Majority FM to talk about uh, the totality of the research into what it might be. And uh, maybe you've heard me say that I subscribe to the lead theory. That is when unleaded gasoline became law of the land. And there has been a subsequent dramatic drop in crime 20 years following the institution of those type of bans. So he is speaking about a piece in the New York Times that is looking into the dramatic drop in crime in Canada. Now, this is particularly relevant for, for a number of reasons, aside from the fact that there's some unintended consequences in banishing lead that maybe we didn't anticipate. Very good consequences. But also, uh, particularly when you're talking about policies like stop and frisk, when you're talking about policies like the, uh, the, the implementation in, in New York of the uh, broken windows policy, the idea of getting small street crimes, small tiny crimes, graffiti, Jump in a turnstile, selling Lucy's. That's the way to fight crime. And we all know that really Giuliani was the magician who, who reduced crime. Well, in fact, uh, this theory about lead is gaining more and more prominence. And uh, speaking specifically about Canada, the piece in the Times says Canada, with practically none of the policy changes we point to here, in this, speaking of this country, had a comp uh, comparable decline in crime over the same period, said Franklin E. Zimring, law professor and expert in criminal justice at the University of California, uh, Berkeley. He described the quest for an explanation as criminological astrology. Yet, uh, Kevin Drum points out that, and shows it uh, with a a chart that shows the use of gasoline lead in Canada peaked in the mid-70s, began dropping as catalytic converters became more common. Leaded gasoline was banned for good in 1990 and is now uh, virtually gone from the Canadian scene. And there is a almost a perfectly parallel drop in crime, which started... 20 years after lead emissions began to drop. Uh, as Kevin Drum says, this is exactly what you'd expect. When he was uh, doing his piece that we interviewed him on, he showed that uh, crime was down from its peak values everywhere. 31% in Montreal, 36% in Edmonton, 40% in Toronto and Vancouver, 53% in Ottawa. He makes the point that CompStat and broken windows and American drug laws can't explain that. Uh, so if you have a chance and you haven't listened to that, um, uh, that episode, uh, go to majority.fm, click on the link, and uh, you can listen to it there.